Welcome. You're listening to the Bulldog Educator Podcast, hosted by yours truly, Kirsten Wilson. Thank you so much for listening. Content produced in this episode and other episodes of the Bulldog Educator are by my co-producers, Sarah and David Galvez. Music created for the Bulldog Educator is by David Galvez. Podcast platform is through anchor.fm. Hi, listeners, and those of you that may be you want to create your own podcast. I need to tell you about a platform that I use and one of my favorite podcasts, Be the Bridge with Latasha Morrison uses, is Anchor. Anchor FM is free totally free. It's a creation tool that allows you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or your computer. And then it does the heavy lifting for you. You can distribute your pot, it distributes your podcast so you can be heard on places like Spotify, Apple Podcast, and many more. You can even make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. So If you're interested in making your own podcast, I highly encourage you to download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. It's the way I did it. It's the way that Latasha Morrison with Build the Bridge did it. And it's the way many of the podcasts that I listen to do it. Go to anchor.fm. You won't regret it. Welcome to the Bulldog Educator, Episode 5, Season 1 with your host, Kirsten Wilson. In this episode, we're going to be talking about the space to pivot. There have been so many times since quarantine time, as I'm calling it, began in mid-March and now, that I have made reference to the 90s sitcom Friends. I've been caught mimicking Ross saying, I'm fine, I'm really, I'm fine. And I even bought a t-shirt, as I see us needing it um, with this phrase for the long haul. Additionally, I found myself shouting, Pivot! Or replying to an email of an exasperated colleague commenting, change again, to which I have replied one simple word, all in caps, P-I-V-O-T. One of the luxuries, if you want to call it a luxury, of the timing of COVID-19 is that it entered at the last quarter of the 2019-2020 school year. While things were in much limbo with emergency remote teaching, we did do everything we could as teachers and administrators to make learning count, despite all the obstacles. That positioned us to head into summer, a break for the teachers and students and a chance for us to have the space to pivot with thought and purpose. It has also given way to lots of chasing of a plan or an idea because it met an immediate need, not concerning considering the long-term impact. Kevin Rubenstein posed to the Twitterverse, I'd like educators to give me the one word, only one, that describes what they want when schools reopen. Many said safety, connection, patience, equity, to name just a few. I said space. Not the physical definition, but distance of time between a thought and an action. Space to reflect. Space to respond. Space to consider. Space to learn. Space to ponder. Space to express. Space to process. Space to determine. Space to give grace. Space to receive space to forgive, space to care for self and others, space to be better, space to see, space to grow, space to make mistakes, space to be vulnerable, space to create, space to lean in and get curious. It seems that one thing we have now more than ever but continue to push over and trample on is space. We are in such a hurry to solve the present issue or problem to bring back stability to the, um, to the uncertainty during this period that we are constantly striving. If we just acknowledge and embrace the space that this has created, our minds would settle, our bodies relax and our connections would flourish. But instead 
we cling to the hurriedness of pre-COVID. Tell ourselves that this is no time to relax and our connections with others suffer. Ultimately, our solutions for today are meaningless for tomorrow. I'm decisive by nature. However, I'm not impulsive. I operate from a basis of let's make a decision with the idea it can go through several iterations and then collaborations before settling on one specific direction. However, when I settle, I want to move forward. If, however, space has not been given for that collaborative decision making, the constant pivot can fatigue even the best of your team. One well thought out collaborative decision shared by a team and carried out is much more effective than constantly attempting to have all the answers and decisions for everything. I've seen many recoil when the person comes to the table with every answer. Rather than rather it would be better to be honest and vulnerable um, and then we would have some good ideas. We could try, and some things we can do together. We could also work toward what we don't yet have in the way of a solution. In the meantime, we can support, encourage, and hold each other up. So as we move forward into the great unknown of 2021 year, acknowledge the hard that we face, embrace the gift of space, and by all means, continue to yell, pivot! as the changes keep coming. Most of all, give space for grace to administrators, fellow colleagues, students, parents, and most of all, yourself. Because it is okay not to be fine. I'm just fine. That is just a little piece from me to you regarding what we may be going through. Be sure to follow me on um, every platform that carries podcasts with the Educator Podcast. Um, you can like us on social media, on Instagram at the Bulldog Edu, on Twitter at the Bulldog Edu, and on Facebook at the Bulldog Edu. Thank you for listening, and we'll hear we'll meet again soon. Hi, listeners. I wanted to share with you something that is going on, and this is really pertinent right now. I am doing this advertisement as part of a charitable initiative in partnership with Ballot Ready, and I'm not getting any um, money with this. This is an unpaid opportunity, but I really wanted to share with you. The goal of this initiative is to increase voter education and encourage you guys to get the vote out during the 2020 general election this November. Ballot Ready is a nonpartisan voter guide to every race and referendum. Most voters, you guys, will enter the booth knowing who you want to vote for president or governor or senator, but you're not prepared for everything else. But every position on the ballot matters. Judges, school boards, water commissioners, and city councils make the decisions that affect our everyday lives. A voter who goes to BallotReady.org can enter their address to see their entire ballot, and from there they can compare candidates based on stances, on issues, biography, or endorsements. Once they've made a decision, they can save their choices and use that when you go to the polls to vote. Voters can also use a requ um, also request a ballot to vote by mail and find their polling place and make a plan to vote. I hope that you'll take advantage of this. I know I'm going to because this and every opportunity to vote is the way that we continue to make sure that our voices are heard and that we are well represented. Thank you for listening to another episode of The Bulldog Educator, hosted by yours truly, Kirsten Wilson. You can find The Bulldog Educator on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram using the handle at the Bulldog Edu. That's at the Bulldog Edu. You can also find us and content related to education and this podcast on our blog at thebulldogedu.org.